Now uh, let's see the cookie persistence lab using inset mode. As said earlier, uh, in the inset mode, a cookie will be inserted by the FI uh, during the response when it sends the response to the client, right? So, post to that, once the client receives that response along with the cookie, the client will save the cookie in its web browser and uh, going forward, whenever uh, in the same session, right? Whenever the client uh, keep on trying to the same web application, the cookie information will also be sent along with the request and with that uh, FI will understand last time from which web server uh, from which pool member it was served okay so let's see so the first thing is uh, to configure the uh, persistence or the cookie based persistence or whatever persistence method we need to create a persistence profile okay anyway we can use that uh, default persistence profile but uh, whenever we want to have our own method right uh, we, it, it's always suggested to create a new profile say for example we uh, already we have a parent profile for cookie persistence method we can uh, use it but uh, say for example if in, in your environment if you have uh, more than some five plus uh, web applications and each web application the application team is requesting for a different type of a cookie persistence say for example for one application they are asking for a passive mode the other uh, for another application if they're asking for an insert mode and for another application if they're asking for a rewrite mode then it would be difficult to implement that with a single persistent profile right so in in that case in order to overcome that uh, we can create our new profile okay maybe now uh, let me try to do the insert mode right let me name it as cookie insert and let me inherit the parent profile cookie here and from here i can modify whatever things i need okay if i select here i can customize everything or if if i want to customize any particular features then i can select that feature and i can customize it okay so this is how we can create a new profile and as said earlier if you want to change the method you can change here say for example if i am creating for a rewrite method i can rename it as a rewrite or i can create a new profile in the name of cookie rewrite or whatever uh, thing and i can select this method okay so this is how we need to create it uh, as we are going to perform the lab for the insert mode i am choosing this method okay and uh, finished that's it so once you click finish the profile you have created will be shown here okay and then we need to go to the virtual server and we need to associate that uh, profile to that virtual server also we need to uh, keep one thing uh, one thing that is a cookie based persistence or a cookie persistent method is applicable only for the web application server means it's applicable only for the http or https based connection okay it cannot be applicable for other uh, kind of like ftp based applications and all so for a testing i am taking this virtual server the web application server http connection okay and so once we have the virtual server configuration here uh post to that 14.x version we'll be having a persistence configuration here under resource okay so once you click here you'll be seeing a configuration setup as like default persistence profile okay by default it would be none so if we want to enable the cookie persistence or whatever persistence method we need to click here and once we click here whatever uh, method whatever profile we have created there will be shown here and also along with it it will also show the default persistence method as well okay so as we want to test the cookie insert mode we can select this as we have created it and update it so now we have associated the insert mode cookie profile with our http virtual server okay so and also to do the wireshark packet analysis i'm going to run wireshark using gns3 okay so uh, as uh, as we do uh, right i have a two different uh, i'm going to capture a two different uh, capture as like one one is to capture uh, the all the packets that's running in uh, vmnet 8 which is the communication between the client to the fi and uh, the other thing is between 
F5 and the backend server. Okay, it's in VMNet 1. So right click, start capture. Okay, and again right click here, start capture. That's it. To make sure that our captures are working, okay. I think captures are started, right? Now I can go to any client. Okay, maybe I'm going to client three. So uh, as per our lab, I have three clients uh, in front of F uh, LTM uh, FI, and behind FI, I have three servers: web servers, web server one, web server two, and web server three. And my client three has uh, IP address one seventy two sixteen zero dot eleven. Okay, fine. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to So I'm going to access my web server 172.16.0.30. So once I hit enter, this request is forwarded to web server 3. So once again, I'm initiating a new request. Again, it is going to web server 3. Okay. Another request. Again, it's going to web server 3. So uh, it is because of the cookie persistence because uh, for the very first time when we have requested for the web server right so once this request reaches f5 f5 will forward f5 might have say as per the load balancing algorithm at that time f5 forwarded that request to web server 3 and once it gets the response from web server 3 before forwarding the same request to client it inserted a cookie uh, along with the information uh, about the pool name and the uh, web uh, pool member information. Okay, so once this client browser receives that cookie, it will be sh stored in the auto stored in the web browser, so that whenever a client tries to initiate a new connection or uh, tries to initiate the same destination again and again, along with this request, the cookie information will also be forwarded. To the fi and fi will look that cookie and it will forward the same request to the same web server web pool member okay let me show you where this cookie will be so under settings we can search here as like cookie so cookie and other sites okay see all cookie and site data see uh, these are the old cookies which was uh, stored earlier. So this this cookie was uh, Installed this cookie was stored into my web browser when I tried to download the utility JIT. Okay uh, We discussed earlier in the other lab right to in order to initiate a multiple Request at the same time we have uh, downloaded the utility git JIT right so at that time this cookie was Install and if you see uh, 172.16.0.30, this this cookie is installed uh, is sent by F5 and it is stored in my web browser. Let's see uh, the details about it. See, the name of that cookie is Big IP Server, which is this cookie is sent by the F5 and Test Pool is the name of our pool. Okay. If you see about the information, see it, it has the information about the pool, uh, pool member and domain. Uh, usually if you have a new URL, that information will be available here. And as we try to access using the IP address, we have the IP here. And we have the information as like when uh, this cookie was created and when this cookie is going to expire. So we have all those information, right? So let's, let's see our Wireshark captures. Okay, let me minimize this. Let me open this as well. I'm sorry. I have an issue. Okay, let me minimize this. This is VMNet 8 and this is VMNet 1. Okay. Let me have VMNet 8 at left side because it is a communication between client to the FI. And let me have a VMNet 1 at my right side because it's my communication between FI and the backend servers. Okay. 
and let me filter using http i don't want to see any any other thing http okay so i have only one um, session maybe it's because of the chrome browser because it tries to establish a connection to the uh, it it see i'll tell you one thing though we have tried multiple times it give it give us the same uh, output right it it shows us the same thing because it takes the information from the cookie okay uh, or else we can do one thing i can also try to initiate an other session using internet explorer So here I'm going 172.16.30. So this time, as this is the new browser actually, uh, we should not confuse because when we try to access it from the Chrome, it went to Web Server 3. Okay, this is not a IP based persistence. It is based on the cookie. Okay, based on the cookie that was installed in a web browser, a Chrome Chrome browser, it keep on sending the packet to Web Server 3. Okay, but when we try to initiate a new connection from other browser, it's forwarded to the other new web server okay but it's only for the very first time and uh, next to that whatever number of times we are trying to initiate a traffic it will be forwarded to the same server see again it is forwarded to the same server okay see irrespective of uh, how many times you tried it is forwarded to the same server okay now let's check for the capture because in the chrome right uh, it, it it doesn't show us uh, all the uh, request because of the cookie okay and i can tell you okay let's take from this okay so this is the packet which is sent from okay one minute Fine. So this is the very first packet. Actually, this is the very first request when we tried from uh, Chrome. Okay, this is the very first packet, and uh, the source is 172.16.0.11, right? And destination is 172.16.0.30, nothing but our virtual server. Okay, and uh, if you see here, we don't have any. Um, cookie okay in the very first initial request that is initiated by the client we don't see any cookie here okay and once the request is received in the fi and fi does this source nat and it will forward the request to the server server one okay here and here also there is no cookie information there is no cookie okay and server one it responds to fi so in this response also server actually didn't give any cookie but if you see this packet this packet okay this is the response actually if i forwarded uh if i gets the response from the server and it inserted a cookie in this response and it forwarded to the client okay uh, it, it's for the chrome browser okay and if you see here when if i response or if i forward the response to the client here it inserted a new cookie so the name of the cookie is big ip server test pool which we uh, validated which we which which we checked in the chrome browser right we saw the same information there because if i inserted this cookie to the request to the client okay and this cookie is saved in the chrome browser okay and let's check the other request if you see this request it is a new request actually when we try to establish from the other browser it is a new request if you see we don't see any we see we don't see any cookie information because this request from a client 172.16.0.11 to the web server 172.16.0.30 it is a new request sent uh, or initiated from a new browser so as it a new as it's a new browser and a new session we don't have any cookie information along with the request okay and also if you see here okay once the request is received from fi by fi it performs the source net and it forward the request to the 
server 2 okay and server 2 responds to that request to fi which is the self ip right 10.10.10.100 .10 .10 is the self ip of fi and in the response actually the, the end server the web server have not inserted any cookie if you see here the server have never done any cookie and inserted any cookie but if you see here this response okay this is actually for the response packet for the new connections or the new request we have initiated from the new browser okay so if you see here when a uh, fi received the response here fi when received the response here from server 2 and before forwarding it to or when it is forwarding to client 172.16.0.11 it inserts a cookie again if you see it inserts a cookie again with the same name big ip server test test fully actually it is the default name and if required or if we need we can change it in the cookie profile okay so we can also name a cookie so if we give the name we'll be seeing that name here in the wireshark capture okay so this is how f5 will insert a new cookie in the response packet to the client so once this cookie is sent uh, once this cookie is sent to the client what client will do client will save this cookie or this cookie will be saved in client's browser and post to that whenever a client request for the same web application along with that request you'll be seeing the cookie also coming see if you see here this is a new request again from the same browser right but this time you are seeing a cookie along with a request so once uh, once if i see this cookie it understands that last time our, so this particular client was served by web server 2 and it forwarded the request to the web server 2 see here also we have that cookie information so based on this cookie information if i forwarded that request to web server 2 so now web server 2 responds back so the response is sent but this time but this time if you see there is no cookie because cookie is already inserted right so it's not sending cookie for every time for every uh, request right so for the very first time when a request comes from particular browser or for particular client's browser it is sending for the very first time okay not for not not responding for every time okay but if you see uh, this is the another new connection right this is another new connection okay if you open and see that the cookie information is added in the new connection again okay so mean to say once if i inserts this cookie to the client browser whenever client initiate a new connection from the same browser this cookie information will also be uh, sent along with that request okay and based on this cookie information if i will forward that request to the concern server so this is how insert method works okay as like the same uh, if we want to make any or if we want to um, and do the rewrite method we just need to change the profile here so if if in case we want to test a rewrite method simple go here go to the persistence you can either create a new cookie profile for a re, uh, rewrite method or you can also change here okay so whatever method we change here and click update it will perform that method because already this profile is associated with the virtual server right so this is how cookie persistence method is working thank you for watching the video for more updates please subscribe the channel and for queries and feedback please write to us thank you